I guess when we're lifting heavy samples, if I I, feel I put a 24 by 48 on, the, on my nice dress shoe, it scuffs it up. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> All right, um, cool. Well, I'm just gonna get this set here. Cool, so what I brought with me, um, what I brought with me is current plans um, and then shitty printer and all um, mood board for the different rooms just so we can, okay. we have something to write on. No, and then I, I've got this whole thing digitally so that you can actually see good representations of like, what I've, I've laid out. Um, but basically goal today is if I'm not walking out with finals, like just close, like, yeah. re like really narrowed down. I want to have like, and I, and honestly, I don't think finals because JC's busy. She couldn't get down here. So yeah. I'm thinking I'm going home with three options for each section we're going to go through. I got you. We'll work with her a little bit and make sure she's happy with everything. And then we'll set. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We don't, I don't, I don't doubt that for sure. So. Absolutely. Make sure the pencil's connected. Okay, and I brought my Kohler stuff too, in case you need to see any of the fixtures that are going. But it, most of my stuff is matte black. It, the more the merrier. I mean, this is yeah. already great to work with. We usually work with, we start with a lot less in most projects. So. Yeah. Oh, well, like, this is candy and candy. That's, that's why we're doing this. Come prepared. It <laughs> yes. benefits you. Yes. Um, okay, so. Uh, so we're looking at Master Bath, um, we're looking at, actually I think Master Bath is the only thing we're doing, oh no, Master Bath and Vestibule yeah, Floor, yeah. and then Bar Bath Splash, which is tall, I have elevations too, okay. and Second Bath. Okay. And then I also, which you're unaware of um, right now, but I put a little backsplash behind the fireplace. Love it. It looks awesome. Love it. Um, so some, so you guys sent me. Yes. You guys sent me three brochures. So first of all, I loved all three of those. Like you, you definitely from our first meeting, you definitely got where I wanted to be. I thought those would be more in line with what you were kind of envisioning, for, yeah. especially for the bar splash, and now doing it, you know, little fireplace style like yeah. that too. Yeah. So the Malm, like old school '60s, like very mid-century yep. modern. Perfect. Um, uh, that's literally just about to arrive on a container too. Oh really? Yeah, cool. That's, that's the newest interaction for, for this year, 2019. Yeah, and, and you can see the render I did too, like kind of like an asymmetrical kind of pattern behind it. Um, you know, and it serves a purpose in the sense that it's gonna allow me to get the fireplace closer to the wall because yeah. it's obviously, it's a uh, you know, a, a, a fireproof. Um, yeah, ceramic. And yeah, exactly. The beauty of that type of material. Okay. And then I have the render of the- um, Plus the bar splash. The bar splash, Excellent. yeah, and the, where's the elevator? Here we go. So this we don't need. Okay, so bar splash is five, three eighths, seven. Those are our, those are our important um, dimensions for bar. Okay. Um, so as far as materials, though, so for the bar splash, fireplace, you know, bath. I know we were kind of looking more in the ceramic and porcelain realm. Is there anything as far as like a natural stone or a funky glass? Is there anything more that you want to do, or we want to stick to that kind of it's it's clean? It's durable. It's got great style and fashion. And yeah, because the, the the ceramics and the porcelains, you have a lot more shapes, a lot yeah. more color options, yeah. and you have a lot of those mats, which yes. I really, really like. Yeah. Um, this is Not all shiny, this yeah. I actually created. I created this texture off of the PDF. brochure you sent me and yeah. was able to get it into my renderings in Chief yeah. Architect, and I'm really happy with it. Um, so I want to look at a few of those colorways and I want to touch and feel those tiles specifically because I really love the matte colors that, the color. like the burnt and the reds and like the color variation between all of them yeah. is really cool. Um, kitchen isn't important because that's sapien stone slabs. Okay. You're doing the slab splash as well? S yeah. Slab up. Yeah, yeah I have a render there so nice. you, just so you can see it. So oh, that's, that's, yeah, that's yeah. sweet. So what I, I thought would be really cool is like, yeah, having the color on the cabinets here mm -hmm. and then really white and classic. And then when you come to the bar, it's white cabinets and you're gonna you're gonna get more in the color. So are they the off top. each other? Or are they are they separated in, in like yeah. a, in a so wall? Or? Bar, okay. kitchen, kitchen, but everything's open. open. Space. Okay. So you are gonna be able to see them. So the, the connective tissue between the two is the same cabinet style, okay. which is enough for me. 
Um, I think they're very, very separate areas. And also the walnut open shelving say, is gonna be okay. Yeah. Perfect. So, you know, it's it's definitely tied together. Plus we have the same flooring throughout, so we're really looking good. Well, the good news is I don't have those samples here today, so. <laughs> what samples? Oh no, really? <laughs> yeah, no. Oh, bummer. They're, they're, I, I, they're just coming in, like I said, it's a, br it's a brand new collection. We'll, we'll have them in here in, okay. in a week or two. So. so can you just, you can just send me I can send them to you. That's no problem. That's fine. Because yeah. I, I mean, I know what they look like. It's not. A I sent yeah. I sent some PDFs, kind of anticipating where we were going and what your style was, yeah. and trying to feature some of the newer collections that were going to capture what you were looking so for. So, like that Bohemian stuff. Do you have those samples in? That's all arriving on this container. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, we've got very. I mean, I've got a lot of stuff that are, is in that style. That can be you know options two or three can be backups. Okay. Um, you know. It's definitely not the only products that we have that are in that kind of funky shape yeah. wall tile, um, in the, you know, that hex shape, you know, floor tile. But I mean, yeah. I'm down to see it all. This is actually a tile that I saw in Austin uh, on a patio, and I really, really like it. Mm -hmm. So if you have anything that looks like that, mm -hmm. um, the vestibule area, I could see that working. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty funky. Yeah. Uh, it looks like sort of a riff on the on the encaustic cement. Yeah, yeah, it definitely is. Yeah. Okay. Um, but I I definitely want to go with a cement tile in that. Um, yeah. In that in that in that area. That's the the best wheel area. Yes. Okay. Um, yeah. I mean, we, let's we can take a walk and, and pull some of those those style samples, lay them out here, see what works, see what doesn't. Okay. Um, What's where's the best place to start? I mean, because everything is really separate. Like, there's the vestibule is the vestibule. Yeah. Um, the only other thing going on in there is wallpaper, but I know I have a lot of different choices. They will be playing off of each other, but I really want to nail the tile. Yeah. And the wallpaper is secondary. That's easy, because that, that we have a lot of the tiles around the corner here. Okay. So the vestibule, we can start there. I mean. Okay, so let's do, why don't we get the, the first floor nailed? Yeah. So we'll do the vestibule, and then we can dive into the master bath. Um, because if you remember, I'm doing slabs in the shower. Yeah. So we got to make sure the tile works with that. Okay. But I picked really muted gray, that's got a, a very matte finish. So I think it's be super fun. Okay. You don't have you don't have enough chips of that, do you? Of the slab. You know I do. They are on my desk at home, <laughs> and I we're knocking to bring this, them we're knocking this out of the park. So you and I, we're good. <laughs> so remember when I said to be prepared? That means me too. Um. Perfect. Okay. That's, well, I mean, I, I, I do have a screen grab of it and it is very representative of what it is. Oh, I'm really bummed I left those slabs at home. Um, that's it. Okay. Um, and then there's and there's a render so you can see. So again, we're not doing finals today, so I'm really not concerned about yeah. about where we're at. I, right. it's, it's somewhat comical considering <laughs> we're-, we're <laughs> Educating the masses educating on how the to masses. go about this. Correct, yeah. but um, look, it, it, it's reality and that's the most important thing is that things happen so you forget your samples your stuff is still arriving on a boat it is what it is right. as long as we can make progress today and the stuff that's not here can be shipped to me one or two pieces that that's all that matters we've got plenty of stuff to look at yeah so. for sure um okay so then let's start with the vestibule and um then we can go from there all right cool cement top yeah okay Oh, the pretty things. Yes. Yeah. So these are all handmade cement tiles. You know, we, we talked about it a little bit before. Uh, we import, you know, a couple containers a month. I love these that. Are these. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's really cool. I mean, that's almost what we were just looking at, just without the red. Exactly. It's replaced with the white color. You know, now is that all, those aren't all grout joints, those are... No, so the grout joint, it's a hex shaped tile, so you can see, you know, what the beauty of the pattern is, this hides the grout joint, so you don't <laughs> focus on where the grout so is. So that's grout, and then this is just pattern that's painted, or... Exactly, it's the pigment <laughs> of the cement. Wow, okay. Hides the shape of the tile, which is cool about the hex pattern too, when you do the, the 8 by 8s you need four pieces to kind of make the pattern and you focus on the shape of the tile rather than the pattern. The hex breaks that up so that you're really just seeing the beauty of the tile and the pattern instead That's of the tile so itself. Cool. Yeah. And I love the color. Like, yeah. I love the color. 
This is our, our Roni hex. What's the name of the pattern? Um, is there a way I can bring a sample of that home? Yes, for sure. Sweet. Oh, it's gonna be it's gonna be heavy leaving this place today. Okay. <laughs> we should have a loose piece here for you. All right, cool. Um, yeah, that we can say is like way high on the list. Anything else in that vein? So like. I love the hex. I love the geometric nature of it. Anything else around there that you have in in, in the here. in the showroom that we can look at? We do we do this. We stock this in about four other colors. Would you want to see maybe other colorways? Absolutely. I think we have some different shades of blue and green. Absolutely. Um, those samples I probably have loose downstairs. All right. We're gonna do that in a minute. Yeah. Let me check this. Crazy. Yeah. Yeah. And if you're, if you're up for it, I mean, these these are technically these, so these are all the colorways that you could do it in. And we can custom make the pattern with the colors that you like and use these little two by two chocolates. Don't go. say the word custom to a designer. <laughs> that is. The beauty of it is you only need to order 56 square feet. So it's very, that's the nice part about handmade tile is you don't have to do a whole production. So anymore. that's really cool in all seriousness. You can. 10 boxes of tile. You can pick any color combination you want. You have no idea how much tile I'm going to be ordering from you. <laughs> There's a little bit of a lead time, about 10 to 12 weeks to import it, but you know, we can make it, import it. But yeah, but I, I mean, I have the time, that's why. Yeah. What? We do things in advance. Woohoo! Because <laughs> um, then you can do all the fun shit. That's cool. Yeah. Nah, it's all right. Yeah, I, that's what uh, I, uh, I'm getting pretty good. <laughs> um, so if we, don't, if we don't find the pieces here that we like, we don't have any of the other stock ones, look up. We can, we can get them in. I can get you samples of all the other colorways that we stock. Yeah, or, or even, can, or, or, or even just a, or even just a, uh, a brochure. Like, so this is the same company? This is, yeah. So if I can do a brochure and then after, after I like, if I want to see something for sure, for sure, then I'll just have you get a specific sample. Yeah, we can order a loose piece of everything. Okay, that's yeah. great. That's cool. Um, are these the sample kits? These are. There's 50, 52 colors total. Should be another. I'm, I mean, opening, up, I'm opening up more options and more. more oh, oh, I thought they were all the same. I was going to say, let me take one of them home. You can. You can take oh. one of them home. But it's a, it's a two box set to get all the colors. Oh no. Oh so we no. didn't have enough options. That's super cool. So now when you say handmade tile, is it like any shape, any pattern, or like it has to be made in the hex pattern? We like stick that? to the eight by eight in the hex shape. Okay. We Which usually is fine by me. You can stick to some of the pre-existing patterns try to create one of your own. Um, again, the more levels of customization, the more a little bit complicated it gets with manufacturing. We have to make a custom mold out of copper. <laughs> but if we stick within the molds that we have, then you can just pick the colors. And it becomes relatively I mean, for, and customized. Quite honestly, for me, it's more of a curiosity. Like, I really like that pattern. And, yeah. and I know the level of complication and the amount of different moving parts I have in this renovation, I'm not gonna do it to myself. Yeah. You know, I, you're Agreed. one part of my puzzle. There's like 30 <laughs> other parts, and to on a 10 week lead time, like I just just scary. Yeah. You know. Well, and we want to be the part that you're like that was awesome. That was yeah. smooth, easy. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Yeah. So these are pretty. So then we kind of dive into the world of the encaustic versions in porcelain, which are some of these here. Hmm. Same style, same concept. A little more durability. This is more durable than than what we have over there. Right. That's porcelain. Interesting. These are, these are all different variations of, of porcelain. Hmm. <laughs> it really depends on. I mean. Getting a, are you anticipating a ton of foot traffic in that area? I mean, the vestibule is the main entry. It's, but it can be an option. But these, that these set, have stood the test of time. I mean, you can, we do them in restaurants, we do them in high traffic areas. I'm, I'm but, not concerned about it. I've done plenty of concrete tile. Yeah. If, um, if you understand it, 
Well, and the other thing is we have a garage, so on the daily, we're driving into the garage and coming in through that door. It's mostly guests, I think, and like, you know, when you go out on a walk on the weekend or something, but I'm not, I'm not worried about it. Okay. I'm not worried about it. Um, any other cement uh, tiles that are out or available to look at? This is this is what we have here, and we have some more of the, the porcelain version. Just a couple hanging here. These are the, you know, back to the eight by eight shape, but playing with more color, more pattern. Sure. Yeah, I like, I like these. I just, I can't, that geometric is, I know it's what it is. Yeah. I, I know, like when I, I know when I know, it could be the first tile I look at, but I don't fight it because I, I I've done it too many times. And just to mess with you, that that pattern and style has been so popular. We we got a factory in Spain to make it for some porcelain. <laughs> <laughs> so. I like the idea of concrete though, because it gives like a like. I think you get um, more color variation throughout the tile because the of the are, natural material. It's more vibrant for sure. Okay. When a tile is fired. You know, cement tile's not fire, that's why you get those bright colors. When you yeah. fire tile, you lose some of that richness of color for sure. There you go. Yeah. Take notes. So. Um, I think if I can take a sample of that home with the different colorways, okay. I think JC's on board with that. Perfect. No problem. Okay. So I would be comfortable moving on to Master Bath. Let's do it. Right, cool. Just, okay, cool. Um, so, um, hmm. if I'm being honest, I really didn't come here with any ideas to what I want to do in that bathroom from a tile perspective. Okay. I knew that I wanted to do the slabs in the shower to just to create a separation. Mm -hmm. And I went with gray so that we could play with a lot of different things here. Like the tile is what I really want to be the statement in there. Sure. So, I mean, we usually start with customers with our color wall here. Again, it's wall is porcelain. So, it's a picture of made in the USA, made in Italy, mostly it's stocked here in the States. But this way, you can kind of start with what colors are you kind of drawing yourself to. Um, you know, if you want to stick in sort of gray scale, you want to try to bring in some, some vibrant color pop, or, you know, do we want to go more into the you know, beige to a yeah, we're working with a gray slab, so... No taupe. No taupe. <laughs> I'm not, a, I'm not, I'm no not taupe, really a taupey. Taupe or taupey? I'm not really a taupey kind of guy. Um. Um, I think I'm just going to grab anything I'm drawn to right now. Perfect. Woo! Now what's this on here? Or is it just backwards? Nope, that's, no. a, uh, that's a little 3D texture that they apply to that. It's available in all the colors. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm really feeling the blues lately. Yeah. Which is maybe why I designed my kitchen in that as well. I don't know. Nice part about that collection too, a lot of different shapes. This is awesome. Yeah. A lot of different shapes? Shapes. Finishes uh, everything from like four by twelve. Do you have this in a mat? Six by twelve. It does. Yeah, right. There we go. One hand on the camera makes it a little, makes me a little slower. <laughs> yeah. Those are all sweet. <sighs> so we like, we like the mat. Yeah, I so like the mat a lot. It's not something I've ever really had in my bathroom. Yeah. So I really want to be. I really want to do something different. And with, sort of, with the concrete slab, I don't think we want to go anything like in the in the marble realm. We want to stick to either concrete, solid color. When you say concrete slab, the, 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 oh, the sapien the, stone. The sapien oh, stone. gotcha. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, a concrete yeah. looking gray. Yes, right? correct. Yeah, so yes, exactly. And it's got a bit of that texture to it. Yes. It is flat. It's got a natural like you have a textural surface. But, but something like in the in the stone world is not fitting so. that size. No. We want to stick to more like. We want to stick to colors. Colors, okay. Yeah, we want to stick to colors. Um, is, is the texture, I mean... Texture's not super interesting to me. Okay. I like the smooth. Smooth? Yeah. Um, you can play with shapes, yeah. I mean, this, this comes in a lot of different shapes. Okay. And the great thing is the manufacturer can also cut the size relatively easy. 
So they can take 24 by 24, they can cut that to 6 by 24, 4 by 12. Yeah, oh great, it. right from the manufacturer. Right from the manufacturer. Okay, so that's awesome. Yeah. So that's good to know about. Yeah. Um, so when you say it comes in a lot of shapes, how what what, yeah. what can you show me? Like do you have a book that has all the shapes or something? Yeah, or? I'll get, I'll get, yeah I'll let's get take a look at it. Awesome. Yes. Oh man. Yeah. These this, are massive. Yeah. This Whoa. whole this is like sexy. It's all hell to me. All these cooler colors are just um seriously um oh sorry, gotta introduce you. This uh -oh. is my friend Kristen. She hey. owns Cannibal in Jersey City and happened to be at the tile store when I was here. Hey guys. <laughs> 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 Always on camera. <laughs> just, just talking about sexy tiles. Yeah, well, listen, it's a, it's appropriate. Yeah, look at this. Matt one? Oh, whoa. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chris, you were hiding these from me, man. You were hiding these from me. There's secrets behind everyone. We went looking for your coverage when we went out. Oh, man. Okay, that's going to be something else to talk about. Uh, okay, what are we looking at here? Here's all the signs. So again, okay. great color palette, full range, and then boom, you have you need to think about this manufacturer. You can pick any of these colors in any of these sizes, from as large as 12 by 24 down to a 3 by 12 in the mosaics. And they'll map the mosaics. Correct. Cool. Okay, so when you said shapes, you meant like formats. Right. right. They're not gonna cut. No, we'd have the special that we could do. We do it. Water jet, but again, no, no, no. I just let's them. we'll just find a product that's yeah. that's appropriate for that. Yeah, um, they do. They'll do this at the factory. So, and in the world of porcelain color, there's not a ton, but. You know, we're lucky to have one of the manufacturers in the US that actually still produces matte color for some time. Cool. Yeah. Um, it's okay. It's actually traditional. It's all through body. So it's not even glazed. Oh, wow. So it's Colors all the way through. All the way through. That's great. Yeah. Um, so we'll leave that out just so I can reference it okay. later. Uh, what are we thinking for this? That, I don't know, but it's getting used. <laughs> okay. Like, that's legit, legit. Yeah. <laughs> can you, can you do that again, please? <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Those are all ceramic, so good for the wall, made in Spain. This is the same as that? It is. And we did, again, kind of in, in your style, we did each color, both matte and gloss. Wow. Miss the Derby. Yeah. Derby <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Um. Jesus. And what what size is this? Three three by twelve? You got two options. This is the three by twelve. Then you have three by six. So you can stay super traditional with the three by six. Yeah, open it up a little bit. Three by twelve. And even again, you know, we, we straight stacked it here, yeah. a little bit more modern, right? You know, making that traditional ceramic look, but giving that modern twist. Awesome. Thank you. I don't know. Uh... My ego, this one was custom made by GST, and the colors we picked ourselves. Oh, really? <laughs> he nailed it. <laughs> You nailed so if it. This is, if this is working for any, any part of the project, I'd love to. Uh, it's love to it's I like I said, it's getting used. Yeah. Where is the question? Okay. Um, and this we have plenty of samples, so we can get you know, take home three by six, three by twelve. Please, yeah. Which colorways are you thinking? I, I am so gravitating toward all these cool colors right now. Yeah. 
But honestly, I'd like to take one in every color. Okay. I mean, I don't, I definitely, like, I don't need, Token. I don't need this. <laughs> I don't, uh, actually, I like the different one. I probably only don't need those two. Actually, I don't need this lot. Mm. I'll take them all. Yeah. Never mind. Yeah. I'll take them all. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to take them all. That natural tile look used with the hex bottom is so mean. Killer. Killer. I just, I just love, like, I love when you can see all of that imperfection. <laughs> Fuck. So much. Oh shit, there's tile on every side. Oh, that's super rad. Whoa. How many tile guys want to kill you when they have to install this? No, no, they're all my best friends. <laughs> <laughs> Holy cow. That is like a very stoned puzzle. <laughs> That's amazing, though. That is amazing. What is the material? Is it porcelain? That's yeah, porcelain, yeah. That's all Italian made porcelain. Did you see the other color there? It comes in grayscale. No. Here it is. Oh, dude. Same we got more to... in the oh, we got more. We got more, we got more, we got more. Yes. So, any pattern that you like in either colorway, it's available in both. So. To the, to the complicated one? Yeah. Is this where we're going? Oh no, that's not where we're going. I love that. It's not, not appropriate for my house, but I am definitely drawn to this Escher-esque uh, cubes. Um, so, okay, so in all seriousness, and JC's gonna kill me for this. Um, so I have a white bathroom floor right now. Her hair is black as night. These things do not go together. So in terms of like, Hiding, uh, hair. yeah, <laughs> right. I was gonna say shedding, but then I thought better of it. Uh, hiding hair, like where? I mean, obviously, a pattern is gonna help do that. But is there a particular color that's gonna do it better than others, or just anything like, like for example, this has a lot of white in it. I'm drawn to it. Is because of the grays and the blacks, does that hide as well as any other type of pattern, or do I want to steer away from anything that has white at all? No, I think, again, as long as you're not doing that stark, bright white, that's where you're going to see the contrast. Yeah. As, a, as a fellow shedder, <laughs> if you stick You have light it, hair, dude. I, I know, I know, so it makes it a little bit easier, but if you have pattern, a little bit of color, grayscale, it's going to hide it well enough. Okay. I mean, okay. yeah. Okay, that's great. Um, I really like this. The Are thing you, that I'm just going through my mind is like, like I love these old world patterns, but it's like a it's a stark departure from what I'm doing, so I gotta keep myself more here, like modern, mid-century modern type patterns, geometric patterns, yeah. um, stuff like that. I, I like the triangles too. I can show you. Let me grab the binder because what cool is about I'd love to see those two in larger scale. Yeah. Because yeah. when you start to see the patterns you can create, that's when it gets exactly. wild. And you can okay. just flip how you're laying them and get all kinds of different patterns. So let me let me grab the binder for that. Please. Yeah. This is this is fantastic. Oh come on. I'm never happy unless I open every last. Nope, no secrets. No stone left unturned, if you will. Always up for a good pun. <laughs> um, 
Gonna need to know about this too. Oh, this like subtle diamond thing you got going on in here. Oh yeah, it's 4D. It's the fourth dimension. So, trim yeah. tile made in Italy, two colors, deep blue, white, but playing with texture, playing with dimension. Oops, sorry. Comes only in the large size, 16 by 32. Okay. So it's a large format wall tile, um, but again, in each colorway, different texture. And this makes this makes a chevron. Which? This one right here. Okay. So when you see the big piece, it makes a chevron pattern. Linear, yep, and then this is what we call the diamond. Bad diamond pattern. Nuts. Nice. That. The, uh, oh, you know what? That might be the bar bag stuff. It's pretty cool. And it's a large format, so again, bar bag flash, cocktails, you eliminate a lot of crowd noise. It's flashback. I'm just worried about the cool factor. <laughs> no, I, I totally dig that, yeah. that. But that is that is awesome. I mean, you can see it, it's, it's installed on the back wall there, so you get a big kind of a concept. Okay, cool. That's a great. Yeah, like it's subtle, but you see it. Yeah. And you can play with the lighting. So the lighting is going to be really what turns on, turns off that pattern. Yeah, and well, what I'm doing in those open shelves, I'm doing up and down pucks. So it's gonna. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Too many people do Chevron. I, I can't. It's been done. Like it's, yeah, I want to see it because I want to see it, but it's sure. not gonna go in my house. But we and we like the deep blue. Um, or want to see both? I would like to see both, okay. uh, for sure. Um, and if I can bring any type of sample blue home with me, because in about three weeks I'm going to Italy okay. for, to meet with my kitchen manufacturer. Nice. If I can get the colors where, like the, the worst thing in the world is when like you're close and you're not exact, and then it looks <laughs> like a really big mistake. Yeah. I have no tolerance for that. So. That tiles that got actually gonna go in my suitcase and come to Italy with me. Because if the blue in the kitchen is something that con contrasts with that terribly, you gotta know that. the whole thing is yeah. shit. You gotta know right away. Exactly. Um, yeah, we, we but I those. really like it a lot. Okay. Like that's awesome. That's cool. And it's it almost feels a bit more black than blue when you get it in a scale that big. Yeah, it's you pull, you dynamite. Like it's all this natural light. You get it into, you know, what's more going to be an interior lighting situation. It is going to be more. I mean, it starts to turn blue as you get closer to it. Yeah. But I just love what it does with the eye. Holy cow. That's super impressive. If you want, I mean, it does have some reflection comes with these. That also might be awesome in the. I'm sorry, say that again? It comes with these liners, so you can pick, you know. You want brass? Actually, if you want an insert with the I'm doing a lot there. of brass. Yeah. So these are specifically designed to go with. These are cut 16 or 32 inches long. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So that's super fun. Let me see if I've got a kit that shows all the different ones. No. Um. We have the 4D. Do we have the 4D? Uh, we got a yeah, let's get okay. Sorry, I'm gonna turn the showroom upside down. It's the best part. Oh, uh, it's so fun. Um, I'm also thinking this might be rad in the bathroom. For sure. But wall tile. Wall tile. Yeah. Yes, yeah. only wall tile. Only wall tile. Yeah. 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 Um. Yeah, which could make it a challenge based on what we pick for the floor. So, but if there's, I, I, I mean. Yeah. When I have a reaction like this, it, it usually winds up in the in the project. So. We could, we could also flip it vertical too. So here it's it's laying on the on the 32 inch, the running horizontal. Right. If just by rotating it to a vertical set. Totally Does it change it that much? It makes it more modern. Again. You know, well, I mean the joints are tight, so you're not 100% uh, zoomed into the joint, but right. Uh, 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 uh. 
So here you can see they did it where they took a piece of the wall tile and inserted it into the liner so that you can have a little bit of break of brass, back to wall tile, back to brass. Okay. Or you can go. Or you can go with some wires. Brass. Flip that back over again? So, I really like that idea. Yeah. The subtlety is what nails that. Did you say? If you want to go big and bald with brass, hold on a sec. It's, it's just brass. So you got oh, okay. brass or you have this kind of rose gold color. There's two colorways. Each one comes either just as the metal finish or with the insert of ceramic wall tile. White. Hmm. Really comes down to how hmm. bold you want hmm. that brass pop. Yeah, um, it's well, it's how bold you want it, but it also is is the design sensibility. And this lends way much, like the the thin lends itself way much more yeah. to what what I'm doing. Yeah, for sure. I agree. Um, like, because it's not going to be that large a format. Like where you have your whole front wall, mm -hmm. the thick makes sense because there's so much tile. The brass inherently gets thinner yeah, exactly. the more tile there is, exactly. right? So in a, in a smaller application, in a home application, using the thinner side to begin with, I think. Um, Subtle. Yeah. Okay. So I've got to think. I've got to think through that. Um, okay. So let's just recap a second. So we've got the vestibule tile that I'm like completely hot on. I'm gonna see all the other colorways yep. where I can bring the color small color samples home. If I need a large format, we can get it. 100%. These these colorways off the color wall, I can take those with me, and we have the book with the different size cuts, which I can take a simple photo of and have with me. We've got the pattern tiles that I really like. We've got the subway tile that I really like, and we have the 4D tile that I really like. Okay, this has to be put down and I gotta just take a few photos cuz uh, if not prove your notes. Stick to the matte finish, large format or not. Yeah. We don't rely on the grab joints to give you traction. We made okay. it. Okay, yeah, that's kind of the question, right? <laughs> <laughs> So basically what you're saying is you'd have the same level of grip on a mosaic as you would on a large format. Correct, yeah, you'd have enough traction. If they do a testing mile wet to make sure it hits the slip resistance that we're walking. Okay, yeah. yeah, I would definitely like to look at something larger format. Um, now do we think, I mean, for this, maybe one of the, you know, matte boy tiles. Okay. I think that might be. Hmm. I don't know yet. Nothing's. What's speaking to me is the um, that that the gray Italian stuff. Yes. Patera. Okay. There's a couple of these patterns that really work or could work. This a lot too. Mm -hmm. Now wait. What's the difference between this and holy yeah. shit? That <laughs> really screws with it. It does. Oh my god, that's awesome. Yep. So you can see huh. this is the miniature cube. Sure. And that's making one tile a cube. Don't buy tiles. She's still hitting them. Can't break it anywhere. <laughs> I hate Both it. Didn't they didn't break, so you know that's uh, that's a good sign. Mm. Oh, I yeah, I think probably the bigger one. Yeah, it's got like a way deeper impact to it. I, th I think that was the one I was saying no to initially, and I think that's probably the one. That's absolutely the one. I mean, I know we're comparing it to paper. Oh, here. <laughs> That's the tile. Put in a darker blue from shade. That also looks beautiful. Um, 
Yeah. Seriously, it does. It was like surreal watching the meat. It's almost, I mean, it, it, it's pretty close. I think it might be a little more gray. We might want to go one more over, but it's looking. I mean, I think it probably pulled pull this idea off. Is the so we look at this is the one on the end. What's the next one? Is that this one? There's the cave in the end. Yeah, yeah it is that one. Glaze varies just slightly between a matte and a glaze, so you do get a little bit of that color contrast too. So it's yep. not just it's Absolutely. not just texture. Yeah. But you know, people make the mistake too of like, oh this doesn't work. If this is such a small scale, you're looking you gotta picture it in a room, yeah. which is why the 3D helps so much. Yeah. Even though you can't guarantee colors on a screen, it's enough of a visual to help you yeah. get there. This is one uh, we'll probably have to take a photo because again this one we created ourselves, so mm -hmm. the manufacturing we're the manufacturing consumes all the marketing expenses. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Yeah, if you could just, I mean, if I'm taking a sample home, I can take a photo too. It's not, it's not the end of the world. Um, I'll just see what you send me digitally, and then I'll create what I need from there. Okay. Um, okay, so I like where I'm going for the master. You're gonna do the bigger one, you think? I think. I mean, the other thing that is a possibility is like doing this in the vestibule and bringing this to the bathroom, which I already kind of have in the render, um, which is super cool. Yeah. And then just figuring out what what oh, works right. with that. Actually, I could just do I could just do the pristine white walls. Yeah. And oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Call it a day. Actually, you know what? I gotta ask Chris if this is okay for shower application. Oh. It's concrete. I don't know if it is actually. I think I've seen it in on um, the niches. I don't think I've seen them. <laughs> What's the name of the pristine white, the top, the top left, clear one? Yeah, like Ooh, that's, that's nice. crazy cool. Yeah. Because I think my hang up is I'm just fighting. I'm, this pattern is fighting other things. Yeah. Whereas if this is in the entry, it's by itself and I've got wallpaper yeah. swinging around. We're using the wallpaper. Do you want to get for that? Yeah, I work with Juju Papers a lot and I work with Hugen West a lot. I've been seeing so many cool wallpapers lately that I've never seen before in my life. They're all like coming out of the woodwork. Fantastic. I yeah. love that. A lot of, there's a lot of great people out there. So, oh, yeah. super cool. Let me ask you a question. Is this okay in the shower? Um, it is. I mean, it's been used in showers a lot. That's, it's like a stone, though. It's going to take general care and maintenance. I mean, you know, neutral cleaners, resealing. Are you talking about for the master? I'm, I'm just, I'm so same concept yeah. as what we've been talking about, except with this. Yeah. Um, and then, and then shifting this or this or one of these to the best of you. Mm -hmm. um, 
I usually try to, put, if we're going into a wet application, I usually try to push to the porcelain. Where's the porcelain version of that? It is... Is it here? Do you have... No, it's sitting in Spain right now. Okay. That's it's about it. to be loaded on a computer. Okay. Um, so, porcelain version of this is the same thing, like it's a hexagon tile, it's the same exact pattern. Same pattern, slightly smaller. Instead of it, this is what we call an eight inch, it's a six inch. Okay. Um, it's not the exact same color, but let me pull up the colorways for you. Because I do have a PDF of it. I do have I like that so no, much. Sure. Yeah, we developed it actually because we have a, a, a veterinary group that's doing offices around the country and they loved it so much, but they want to do it for commercial entries in the veterinary offices. Sure. So we went to one of our factories in Spain and said, this is the number one selling pattern in our cement. Can you do it in porcelain? Gave them a couple colorways. That's great. Schluter system in the shower, yeah. it's gonna be completely waterproof. Yeah. And like neither me nor JC take inordinate showers. Like it's the master bathroom, so it's just the two of us. <laughs> Five, ten minute shower, morning night. Yeah. I mean it, it, it's cement, it's a durable building material. It's fine. It's just I get you're different. Our normal our normal customer is not I'm not gonna come yelling at you. I just <laughs> want to make sure. Yeah. That too, but no, I get it. No, I mean, because we've done it. We've done it in the U.S. in many bathrooms, and it works out great. Um, no, not really. Yeah, yeah, it's just it's just like I'm that nervous. nervous it's just like doing a stone. All it takes is some just a neutral cleaner, and if it's a master bath, reseal it every you know, once in a while. Yeah. You, know, you start to notice it really absorbing some moisture. Just hit with some seal. I think I really like that for a master bathroom. Yeah. Again, even in the porcelain version, it's not going to touch that color. That's the hardest part about the, the, the porcelain yeah, version. No, it's got to be that. Color it's, just, it, that uh, that's okay. I I'm like as long as JC's on board, that's that's the master bath. And and at a certain point, you have to trust your gut when you're making a decision. You said, yeah, this is going to take a little bit of maintenance. It can absorb water. You gotta, you know, you're a 45 minute shower person, and that may not be the tile. For you. Exactly, exactly. You're also wasting too much water, so whatever. <laughs> yeah. Um, right here, so this shows you the different with this same tile. Oh, cool. These are the different. Oh ones. shit. Okay. Oh, they're triangles. The triangles. Triangle. Okay. Yeah, okay. Whoa. Oh, that's great. This is that you can do the squares. So that's the half tile. Gotcha. <laughs> oh, that's super fun. There's a <laughs> lot of cool stuff. These guys do a great job. This is great. I actually even like the whole haphazard pattern for the vestibule entry. It's small and it's yeah. super interesting and kind of old world. It fits the old 1890s aspect of the firehouse. I think it looked nice. Really rad. Yeah. I mean. Sorry, you said I could take this? 100%, yep. Here's a bag of Make sure it has strong handles. <laughs> She's gonna walk out of here with like 90 pounds of tile. <laughs> um, that, you, that you can take as well. Okay, great. This is all the colors there. Yes. That's not attached. No, that was the loose one. Scared the <laughs> shit out of me. Beauty of porcelain. Whew. Yeah, no kidding, huh? That's great. No, 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 I'm just testing, more testing. Oh, oh, got yeah, it. testing. Uh -huh. Those we can put back on the shelf. This is what? Oh, that was a, these are liners to play with the heck. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Wait a minute. Why am I just seeing this now? So the same concept as the 4D, but this is specifically made to go around the heck shelf. Now it's paired with a different collection. 
from the same manufacturer. Yeah, this I get it, but this is like, I'm feeling this for the backsplash now. Yo. Um, I feel like all the yes on that. Like. Like. Whoa. Why would you use normal grout when you can do? <laughs> yeah, why use grout when you can do brass? Yeah. Um, I mean, it'll it'll hold up. Yeah. yeah, it's just not not just not suitable for the floor. Alright, awesome. Mm -hmm. Just like that's what they did here. Oh yeah. So it's just the kind of like this too, though. Yeah. The best is to play with the fixtures, whatever kind of. If you have a fixture going here. It's gonna be more brass, more gold. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stainless. I'm doing a lot of brass. Well, all my fixtures are black, and I did that so I can play with with, uh, with some brass. Shit. Okay. Uh. And we can we can pull the. Let me pull the. Okay. Sure. I got nowhere to be. <laughs> Stay here all day. <laughs> And then that's multiple. Oh, that's, that's. So that's cool. No, that's fine. The beauty of this is it's not supposed to be perfect. It's a textile kind of look, but still for the fashion. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. I gotta be careful. I don't go too masculine. Yeah. There are. Oh no, she she digs it. 